Hello, here's a little addendum to that last video. Somebody in the comments mentioned that at one point the plane sort of pitches up and down quite a bit and that reminded me that I completely forgot to show you this which is the Google Earth um, log uh, viewing thingy that you can do. So you export the telemetry log from Mission Planner and you can load it in Google Earth. Looks pretty cool and it's all sort of uh, you know 3D-ish and you can see there that's the home point with the circling return to launch going around there quite a few times. These other lines here with the red and the blue were where I did a little bit of a ticky tour around the farm afterwards just to finish off the battery. This one here by the way is GPS cruise, this purple one that just goes in a super straight line like that, it's quite nice. Um, anyway, and the orange ones here are the mission where we were using the automatic height. Oh god, this mouse is all backwards. There we go. Uh, so this is kind of what we were interested in. You can see this is what the commenter was um, mentioning. This one in particular seemed to be sort of a bit up and down. The other ones weren't too bad. This one is actually descending, I think, in that one. Um, and if we look at this sort of down from the side, we can see that there is a pretty good change in altitude and it matches very, very nicely with these heights of the hills. But that's as it should be because remember that the height that it's trying to match is coming from this same Google Earth data. So it's using this, <laughs> these exact numbers is what it's putting into its, um, its set point to try and meet this altitude. So there's no surprise that it should be matching that quite well. What we're really more interested in is how well does it match the actual height of the hills and trees in reality. And we can't really see that on this map, but I just thought I'd show you this visualization because it's a pretty neat one. See if I can look down there, nice straight lines. Sorry, the this mouse is really um, left to right is what I think it should be, but up and down is backwards, so it's really annoying. But anyway, um, yeah, this is just one of the many cool things you can do with the whole Pilot Mission Planner system. Um, yeah, I meant to add this at the end of my other video, but I forgot. So anyway, there it is now.